Hey guys, here we are. Welcome back to Captain Bailey's Adventures. And here it is. Nice, creamy, frothy, super pure white head. Uh, love the color. It's like a goldish yellow. Um, and this obviously is the summer ale. 9.4% according to the numbers. Not the grains, but the numbers. <laughs> but I digress with that whole situation. I'd given up. Oh, that same smell as you saw from when I kegged it. Very fruity, crisp smelling. Oh yeah, real pretty looking beer. Okay, very cloudy, this is the first pour. So I'm sure as we get into this in the next couple coming weeks, it will clear out. The, 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 the father, uh, Abby beer did clear out towards the end. But, uh, cheers, guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Nice beer. Very, the, the, the recipe is simple, you know. It was just, you know, five pounds of grains five or six pounds of grains and that was it and then three pounds of DMA uh, not all these different you know speciality grains or anything I think it was just one speciality grain obviously I can't remember off the top of my head what the heck went in I know it was two row and some oh yeah crystal crystal 120 I believe so I mean not too much bubbles going on but um Next couple of days it'll carb up a lot that but not better. Um it's just been in the keg for like a day basically. About twenty four hours, almost forty eight. Uh I had it at thirty pounds and then I dropped, you know, thirty pounds for twenty four hours and then I dropped it to uh serving pressure. So you know, decayed it and then just serving pressure, so but there's some bubbles going up there, so it is carved enough for me. Cheers. Mm. Another stellar beer. The last one was good. This was just as good. Crisp, refreshing. This will be really good on a hot day, that's for sure. That's why it's called the Summer Ale. Mm. But of course it's not summer yet, but hey, it is what it is. It's, I always try to, I have my schedule, you know. You guys have your schedules, I got mine. So I brew my beers at a certain time of year sometimes, uh, or just when I'm in the mood. But this one, these lighter color beers I like to do. Uh, I do my mom's tribute beer, Blanca's Ale. I do that around her birthday, which is August. So I'll brew it in July into August I'll brew that one yeah this is good mm. and happy national homebrew uh, uh, day which is May 7th tomorrow which is my birthday um, so this video is gonna come out May 6th and uh, I'll probably shoot I'm gonna do a cooking video tomorrow if I can, I mean, obviously all my family over and stuff, we're gonna be grilling on the grill, and I, I got, my brother-in-law bought me for my birthday a pizza oven for out back here. Um, obviously I'm gonna keep it in the garage, but it, you know, cause I don't wanna get all messed up. But it's gas powered, it's got a, you know, a heat stone in there, it gets up like 935 degrees, it supposedly makes a pizza, cooks a pizza in like a minute at that uh, temperature. So I'll try and shoot some footage of, uh, me and the first mate uh, cooking away some pizzas tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a good day. Mm. So, me and the first mate just going to enjoy my kickback, enjoy my uh, birthday weekend. Uh, anything else going on? Not really too much. But other than that, just going to relax and chill and uh, enjoy this uh, summer ale. So, uh, yeah, 10 out of 10. Like uh, not, it was only two. What did I say? Two ounces of hops, I think, went in there. So was it East Kent Goldings? So it's more like on the British style of ale, you know. So 
is because it's got the you know the British British hops. No British yeast. I mean, I, I did the uh, Kiev. Oh, excuse me, Lutra, Lutra Kiev or whatever. How you say it? Am I saying Kiev or Lutra Kavike? Kavike yeast. But again, it's a neutral based yeast, which does give it some fruit for the esters. So I'm wondering, you know, if, if it is like a real, before I brew another brew and it's like, say it's 100 degrees out, I might just uh, use this again, you know, because it chan Hi. Instead, instead of ch hey buddy, how you doing? Instead of just chancing, um, you know, something, some off flavors from the heat, you know, uh, you know, but once then I do get the air on in the, in the house, the, 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 the closet it s tends to stay at like, 73 you know so I mean, it'll be all right I think. so we'll see what's next on deck and uh till we do it again my friends remember let's sit sail